And what was the most interesting thing that you found while doing this? Um, I think the most interesting thing that we found out about this was actually um, knowing that these things have different uses. Because before this, I'm not sure about Ethan, but I, but I, what I assumed was hand sanitizer and hand soap were basically the same thing, just that hand soap or hand sanitizer does not belong in a bathroom. Uh, what's the hardest part of judging? Um, I think deciding between um, an excited scientist, someone that has passion on what they're doing and what they're saying and understanding versus their actual board and their research. Because it is a science project, so they have to have basic things, but you know, sometimes when you see a really excited person that loves what they're doing, but maybe they just messed up on their method or maybe their board doesn't look so nice, you know, trying to decide um, you know, which is more important, the, the data or, or encouraging a scientist, which I tend to go with encouraging the scientist over some of the mistakes, because the mistakes can be learned from or fixed. What would you say is the hardest part about what you did? Um, I think just, like, getting the, like, the fish water just, like, waiting for it to, like, be like, green enough to use, and, like, cleaning out the tank and all that. And was there anything like super challenging when you were doing this project? Having to get the dogs to be quiet because <laughs> they are super loud. Just hard to calm them down and get them used to food. Yeah. What are you looking for? In the world? Um, a scientist. I'm looking for a, a, a student that maybe in the long run might might want to go into the field of science. Um, so I want to encourage those that have that potential. So I'm really looking for someone that is creative, that thinks outside the box, that can analyze things, that um, can really express themselves. Okay, yeah. thank you. Oh. This is Nathan Starkey coming from the 2020 IPA Science Fair.